This video will be a quick rundown on the best way to make gold out of volatile magic and we will go over how you can get them, how much will 60,000 volatile magic get you and more. To begin with, the best way to make gold with volatile magic is to buy trophy chests, open them and then sell the results. That's it. That's basically the video. However, if you want to find out how you can get volatile magic, maximize your acquisition and get a breakdown of how much you can expect per volatile magic, then keep watching. Let's start off with how you can get them and maximize your acquisition. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a harvesting tool that provides you with extra volatile magic after you chop wood, harvest plants or mine ore. You can do that by buying an infinite gathering tool from the gem store that provides you with a glyph called the glyph of volatility. Or if you did a dumb mistake and purchased an infinite tool without a glyph like yours truly, then you can still buy the glyph from the trading post and attach it to your infinite tool. They are very costly though as you can see and you will need three of them, one for each gathering tool. Now there is a cheaper method and this alternative would be to buy the volatile gathering tools from the following vendors. If I want to buy those tools, I would go to Dragonfall and buy them from this vendor. They cost karma and you will most likely have a shit ton of it, so that's fine. Now if you still haven't done so yet, you can also complete Seasons of the Dragons. This collection will give you a free legendary amulet, a generation 3 legendary precursor, and the living world season 4 parts of it will give you 250 map material for each map and a lot of extra volatile magic along the way. Now, if you don't need the Living World Season 4 materials, then you can consume them to get volatile magic. Each one gives you between 15 to 25 magic. So let's say with 100 Mistborn Motes, which are the items that you can obtain from Dragonfall, I would get around 2000 volatile magic on average. And I would usually get 100 Mistborn Motes from one whole meta event in Dragonfall. I will be explaining more about that form and how you can maximize your potential from this form, which by the way is very good, uh, but it's gonna be for tomorrow's video. Anyway, any Living World Season 4 map, the ones you see from this list, will give you a material by completing events, killing enemies, or harvesting crafting materials within the map. Consume said material if you don't need it, and you will get volatile magic. Heck, even defeating enemies in the Living World Season 4 maps will give you between 3 and 5 volatile magic. So just play the maps and you will find yourself with a lot of volatile magic in no time. The last way, and even though I don't do that, you can even collect them all around the maps. There is a huge line that you can form in Thunderhead Peaks and one of them in uh, Jahai Bluffs. Just find the spot, follow the trail, and you can get a couple hundred volatile magics per day. Now, before going on and spending all your volatile magic on the method that I'm about to tell you, just make sure that you don't need this currency. Firstly, it's very important to get the karmic retribution in the maps that you will form in Living World Season 4. There are three levels to each one, and obtaining all three gives you a permanent buff that rewards you with karma after defeating enemies in said map. I would personally only get it in Dragonfall, but if you spend time in any of the other maps, then go for it. But you should know that each map has its own karmic retribution, and it starts off at 1000 volatile magic at rank 1, goes up to 5k at rank 2, and then 10k at rank 3, along with some gold that you have to pay as well. Now when it comes to converting this currency to gold, what you need to do is simply buy trophy shipments from volatile magic vendors, open them and sell the results. You will get T6 and T5 materials from those chests and it is a nice way to actually get those materials in case you are working on a legendary item. Anyway, this shipment can be purchased from almost every volatile magic vendor. I buy mine either from this one in Dragonfall or literally the one from the entrance of Domain of Istan. Now you will need to invest some gold into this, but you are almost guaranteed to always end up with a profit. For the purposes of this video, as you can see I bought 250 chests and that cost me 250 gold and around 60,000 volatile magic. I opened them all up, sorted them so we can get a better bird's eye view on what we are looking at right here. And as you can see, here are the results and if I were to sell everything at today's market, I would end up with 209 gold in profit after tax. 
these are the numbers you can see everything right in front of you here in the video now you can obviously make more gold by converting those tier 5 material into tier 6 and then selling them but come on who has the time for that right now tomorrow i'm gonna be releasing a video that goes over dragonfall a map that you can form in order to get volatile magic in this map you can look around 4000 volatile magic per hour and i will be explaining everything you need to know tomorrow as i will be starting a meta form series that goes through every map explaining how it works and how you can maximize your profit off of every form so stay tuned for that anyway that's it for today's video if you found it helpful consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any new guild wars 2 content that i release and i usually do that every day or other day i also just released a membership program for this channel so if you're enjoying whatever you are watching you can also support the channel by becoming a member anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one uh, peace